number of people are evacuated right now. Others are on standby. They could go at any moment. Nine Year Science Kevin Bouton spoke with some of them. Kevin, firefighters did an amazing job saving some homes, didn't they? Stella, yeah, they really did. And the people we talked to today couldn't say enough about the work that the firefighters did. And they know that because of that work, they are back in their homes tonight. The wide open grassland that entices people to move to the hills outside Sonoida is also the main source of worry for homeowners like Lee Freyenhagen. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, and we've always had fires. I mean, ever since I've been here, we've had fires fairly close, but never to this extent. Freyenhagen and others living along Highway 83 had to evacuate Monday as the fire moved closer. The fire burned nearly all of this small valley that's dotted with homes, but amazingly, none were damaged. But that's not to say there weren't any close calls. Take a look at this. The fire burned up to and even under this big propane tank that's just a few feet from this home. Bryce Reichardt's home is still standing on this hill thanks to a tanker's spot-on slurry drop, coating his house in pink, saving it from damage. What was it like seeing the tanker drop the slurry? and knowing that it was dropping in on your house. It was exciting. Uh, you know, a tanker comes in 50 feet above your head and then and then curves up over this house and watch that slurry fly across there. And the background was nothing but smoke. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that slurry started drifting across the road. It was exciting. <laughs> Firefighters from Sonoida showed up Wednesday unannounced and without asking to wash the retardant away. They're fantastic people. You have, you have, you need an ambulance. They're up here in a heartbeat. They know you by name. It's, mm -hmm. it is, it's, uh, it's just a different lifestyle out here. But while people are relieved to see their homes still standing, they're not relaxed and know the fire can change at any moment. You don't know what to expect. You ask questions and they can't give you an answer. It's all up to the wind and you know, see what happens.